Hello everyone, and in this video we're going to introduce to you how to operate and set up this portable gas detector from ATO so that you can get better equipped to manage workplace safety. So we're going to power it up and we're going to enter the menu by holding the up button for about 3 seconds. Then here we are. So let's first take a look at the alarm point. Pressing power button to select it, you'll find there are two kinds of alarm for you to set up. And the first title spelled as Chan here refers to channel, representing each of the four sensors on board the device. Up and down buttons will allow you to change between different channels. Then press down button to move on to the low alarm. Press OK and start modifying from the single digit all along to the fourth digit. After you finish your operation, then pressing OK again will save the setting, and the unit will sound a beep at the same time and the high alarm setting shares the same operation procedure. When you are done with the setting, press OK to select exit and push the button once again to escape. Then let's go ahead to the next parameter which is alarm mode. This device gives three different types of alarms. They include a loud audible buzzer alarm, a visual flashing LED alarm and a vibrating alarm. Coming after that is the instrument setup. As for language setting, you have English and Chinese to toggle between. Gray refers to the grayscale that you can adjust within, and LCD option actually refers to the duration of the backlight being on. Next setup option is system time. In this menu, you can change the date and time of the monitoring system, and when you finished up your revision, be sure to hit OK to confirm it. Coming back to the main menu, we are going to check out the next function item, which is going to be for our calibration right there and it's programmed to require password to access this function. This detection device is also equipped with data storage function. Time set allows you to decide the appropriate storage interval. History is where you could check out records by code numbers. If there are records available, then you can input the correct number by hitting up or down to change exit into set and pressing power button to start the process. And the recorded info also refreshes accordingly. The next setup option is Alarm. This function gives you readouts for all the possible alarms the device has kept track of. To delete the history, just press OK to select that option, and if you select Yes, all of the storage info will be removed. Back to the main menu, we're gonna meet our last function option where we can learn more about the sensors. For each channel, the unit will show you their working status, the real-time reading, and the ADC. Then we can go back to the main menu. So that's what it's going to be in your menu settings. This portable multi-gas detector provides accurate and continuous monitoring of flammable and hazardous gases, delivering comprehensive protection against disastrous incidents that may be caused by the presence of these invisible dangers. Be sure to check out the links in the description below if you're interested in buying one for yourself. As always, thumbs up, leave your comment and subscribe, and we'll catch you soon in our next video.